the Rottweiler. So cute, they write children's books about him, like Good Dog Carl. Or the Rottweiler, a breed so dangerous it's one of the few breeds banned in some towns. Wait, these are the same dogs? These dogs are gentle, aggressive, sweet, protective. Huh? How is this possible? Well, it is. And we'll show you how this dog may be the most versatile breed around. This is a dog that, that just needs a lot of work. You have to really be dedicated. You really do need to focus a lot on socialization and training. I'm gonna let from a puppy. But if there's something magical about that animal. The Rotties, as they are affectionately known, were bred to be fierce, aggressive guard dogs. But properly trained, they can be pushovers. That's a dog that can be absolutely ferocious and protective. But the flip side of that personality is an absolute lover, a, a gentle giant, a warm beast. How is it this dog can be so fierce and so friendly? Come on, come on, kid. Well, for starters, the dog is smart and that makes him easily trainable. Here is my cookie. Look at me. This animal isn't for everybody. This dog needs serious training, making sure that it understands your lifestyle from A to Z in terms of who's coming, who's going, who to be nice to, when it should be in protection mode, and when it should definitely not be in protection mode. This is a fantastic dog if you do the right thing. The other thing that makes these Rotties such versatile dogs is their heritage. They were bred to work for you, protect you, and please you. As the working dogs of ancient Rome, they were originally bred to be herding and guard dogs, and they quickly became the favored four-legged worker, herding, herding, cart wrangling, all the stuff of old day living. Today, these dogs are still no-nonsense creatures. Remember to tread with caution when first meeting a Rottweiler. Over a 20-year period, purebred Rottweilers have been responsible for 16% of all dog-related deaths in America, second only to the pit bull. You need to make sure that you're prepared to put in an enormous amount of energy and training when the dog is as young as possible to make sure that while that dog still has the potential to protect their family, that it's not a loaded gun. It's absolutely a majestic, loving creature. But when it's in warrior mode, listen, this is a dog that has massive stopping power. He's not afraid to use it. Due to this reputation, some insurance companies still refuse coverage to Rottweiler owners. This Herculean jaw is the most well-known feature of the Rottie. Stronger than a pit bull or a German shepherd. With 328 pounds of pressure per inch, the chomping power of this animal is massive. That power is all relative to skull size. The larger the skull, the stronger the bite. And Rotties have a big head. An instant Rottweiler giveaway is their coloring. Having no variation of color, their lips are always black, and so is their coat, with brown highlighting around the mouth, shoulders, and paws. Oh, and they have those cute circular brown eyebrows. Banned in the UK, the docking or clipping of a Rottie's tail is still widely practiced in the US. But now that pulling farm carts is not exactly necessary anymore, Rotties are getting their tails back. Unfortunately, due to overbreeding in the last 10 years, they have weak bones. They have a lot of problems now, a lot of hip problems, shoulder problems. Since Rotty pups will eat anything, it's easy to overfeed them, but don't. Too much protein equals growth spurts, which equals weak bones. But the real characteristic that Rotties are known for is loyalty. No joke, these guard dogs have your back. And in one very special case, the Rottweiler's smarts, strength, and loyalty were the difference between life and death. On a crisp spring day, little Mercedes Bedke, an active, smiling eight-year-old, had no idea her dog would save her life. It was lunchtime on this cattle ranch in Oakley, Idaho. And like every other day, Mercedes was doing what a kid her age does, playing with her best friend. Buster's my best friend because he's fun to play with. He likes to run around. He likes to go on the cattle. But
Buster, who had been adopted by the Bedkeys three weeks earlier, had taken to Mercedes instantly. And from that day forward, they spent every minute together. Anything Mercedes wanted to go do, Buster was right with her. That connection probably saved Mercedes' life. That afternoon, with Buster Toe, Mercedes decided to ride her horse. Well, I was on my horse, BJ, and I was seeing how fast he could go. The horse got running faster, trotting faster than she could handle, and he slipped. I flew off and hit the fence, and then he stepped on my skull. At that point, Buster went blazing back to the house and did everything he could to alert the family that something was very wrong. All of a sudden, there was a big thump at the door. And there was Buster not acting right. And I told Frank, I said, let's go find her. Something is not right. Mercedes' grandfather and great-grandfather jumped in the truck and started to drive to the north of the property. Buster knew she was in the other direction. He jumped and yelped and did all he could to get them to turn the pickup around and follow him. If he had enough sense to come to the door, he must know where he wants to go. They reversed direction and within minutes found Mercedes. Had they not followed Buster, it would have taken another 30 minutes. Taken immediately into surgery to relieve the pressure on her brain, Mercedes' doctors believed that had she arrived any later, she would not have lived. In my eyes, he's more than a hero. <laughs> Miraculously, Mercedes made it out of surgery. After a three-week hospital stay, months of physical therapy, teaching her how to talk and walk again, she is now a happy 10-year-old. If a dog could get something for being a hero, Buster would definitely deserve that reward. Buster saved my life. I have billions of love for Buster. Not there, get a puppy! <laughs> if Rottweilers are properly trained, they'll do anything for you. Rottweilers can adapt to multiple physical environments. This is a rugged dog that, that can live in any kind of climate. As long as this dog can get out and exercise, it can live anywhere. Rottweilers have a double coat, so they're going to shed. Yep, that black hair will get in every corner of the house, unless you brush them often. Unfortunately, due to overbreeding in the last 10 years, they often have hip dysplasia and weak bones. These dogs are very eager to please, and they're very intelligent dogs. While easy to train, the training is not optional. Remember, this will put the gentle in our little giant. As a family dog, go in with your eyes wide open. Rottweilers need extra care. As pups, they need sensitizing to small children and strangers. Remember, each individual dog is different. But in general, the Rottweiler can live anywhere. They are not the healthiest and tend to have weak bones and just need a daily brushing. Early training is not optional. They are good family dogs, but be careful with strangers. If you want to adopt one, do your homework and select your dog with care.